Okay, it's been a while. <laughs> I know that you guys are busy, okay? But um, I'm here because uh, obviously, uh, can I get all about it, okay? But I spent a lot of my time, yeah, while all of this was going on with Akaka Bill, Kaui Noah, and you know, I realized that perhaps we, we, we need to look at hard facts and the end result to these hard facts. And fortunately, I mean, I, I was able to find Mr. Inouye, Senator from, you know, God bless him, Senator Inouye's uh, report, 1971 report. He had a news, he had, used to have a newspaper article, okay, that he sent out. And what was interesting was he wrote it right after the Alaska Settlement Claim Act. And what you'll see in this report, of which I brought to share with you, yeah, is that it shows what happened to the Native Alaskans when they agreed to U.S. legislation. Okay? And I, I mean, I wrote this up. I, I know you guys get precious time, okay? But I would like to express my manao on the, top of, on the topic of Kanai Olaba Road Commission that, in my opinion, is not the right process for our Kanaka Maori people. Although this proce process origina originates from the United States of Hawaii legislature through the passage of Act 195, there are negative political ramifications that are laid into this process. I would like to share this by providing factual evidence that the other two native tribes, American and Alaskan, unknowingly placed their people into a precarious position position of losing their aboriginal land title rights because they agreed to U.S. legislation that also originated on the state level. The Native American Indians and Native Alaskans possessed their aboriginal land title rights before agreeing and accepting U.S. government legislation. One, the Native American Indian Reorganization Act of 1936 resulted in the Native American Indians extinguishing their aboriginal land title rights to the United States in exchange for federal recognition. Two, the Alaska Native Claims Settlement Act of 1971 resulted in the Native Alaskans extinguishing their aboriginal land title rights to the United States through U.S. government legislation. Amazingly, the Akaka Bill still on the floor of Congress, is a U.S. government legislation that is titled the Native Hawaiian Reorganization Act, exactly the same title that the Native American Indians accepted in 1936 and resulted in the extinguishment lost of their aboriginal land title to the U.S. government. Unable to get the Akaka Bill passed in the U.S. Congress, Governor Abercrombie convinced the State of Hawaii Legislature to pass Act 195, 2011, that includes similarities to the Akaka Bill. The similar, these similarities are <laughs> U.S. Federal Akaka Bill and State of Hawaii, Kanai Olobalu. Akaka Bill, Road Commission to Sign Up Native Hawaiians. Kanai Olobalu, Road Commission to Sign Up Native Hawaiians. Conducting a convention, conducting a convention, Akaka Bill. Reaffirmation of the federal and state authority Reaffirmation of the state authority for Kanai Olovalu, Akaka Bill, established a Hawaiian governing entity controlled by federal and state law. Established a Hawaiian governing entity controlled by state law. Uh, I did emphasize that the state of Hawaii is the United States of Hawaii. Okay? And no matter how you cut that pie, they're a part of the United States. So any legislation coming out of the state of Hawaii and if it's not put into that legislative bill, the federal government actually has control, okay? The outcome is obvious. One, the Native Hawaiian become federally recognized. Two, the Hawaiian governing entity is controlled by federal and state law. And three, the U.S. government finally acquires the power to extinguish our aboriginal land title through the state of Hawaii controlled Kanai Olavalu process. To substantiate this claim, I have attached a copy of the former U.S. Senator Danny Noyes' 1971 report states what and how the U.S. government can accomplish extinguishing the aboriginal land title ownership by the Native Hawaiian people. 
No, sorry. I had to stick my wife's glasses. I cannot see. <laughs> I couldn't find mine last night. Okay? <laughs> then it's just, just a quote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now you see it through the eyes of your wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> In fact, she woke me up. You better hurry up and get down there. Okay? <laughs> but I don't come to you guys' meeting. I'll be honest with you. You guys know what I do. I mean, yeah. I think majority of you do, do know what I do. Okay? Well, it would not seem feasible to redistribute this land to the people of Hawaii, the bulk being either assigned to the Interior Department as a part of the National Park System or the military, a cash compensation for the extinguishment of Aboriginal title similar to that provided in the Alaskan settlement would seem to be justified in light of the Alaska precedent. Okay, I mean this is right coming right off of like Senator Inouye. Okay, now in 1993, the U.S. government admitted and confessed in U.S. Public Law 103-150, paragraph 29, that the Native Hawaiian, you know, Kanaka Maoli people, never relinquished their inherent sovereignty on national lands to the United States. See. When they stole our country, our country, our forefathers was just awesome. Commandment III did a move that was just, you, you cannot break this. Nobody, nobody can break this in this world. Why? Baroen assigned all the lands. He put it all in writing. You can look at it, you can go to the archives, it's in the indices. These are patents, are raw patents that cannot be overturned. Okay? The people can, though. The people can do that if we give that right up. And this is how it's always been. Them guys, meaning the U.S. government, have never received legal passage title to any of these properties. Any of these. Which is why they take the time and the due diligence to try to get us, our own people, to give up our rights. Now, if you don't know that this is what a part of the process is, then everything looks good, you know? It looks good to preserve what we have. The question is, I mean, do we really want to give up the most powerful negotiating position that we have? I say, put yourself at the level of that negotiating table. Talk from that point of view. Whereas we've always been looking up this way. And they've been giving us the fear, the screw, everything. I say, you, you, you know, I heard Rwanda say, yeah, you do have a responsibility. I think all of you do. You know, which is why I'm here. Now I'm making it public notice, basically, to inform you that this is exactly what's going to happen. Okay? It's not something I made up or I came up here to talk about. It's something that I'm going to give to you, and all these people are witnesses, where we should abandon not put doing what the U.S. government did. Public Law 103 150, they put the noose over their neck, they threw the rope, yeah, over the pole, and they went tie them to the stairway. So they hang. They're hanging. They're hanging, okay? They almost hang. done, almost done. I understand, okay? And they're hanging, and you know the only ones can hang them is us. We can go over there, go and tie the rope, yeah, and we hung, and they latch down. And they gotta work with us. Now, who's, yeah, who should they be working with? That's the question. That's what was brought up from Hank, from Bala Malaka, even myself, you know. So, beware of Kanaka Maoli, of the ex-congressman, now governor, Neil Abercrombie, continuous effort to get the Native Hawaiian people to extinguish the Aboriginal land title rights to the United States, Kaka Bill, or State of Hawaii, can I all about a legislative process. I firmly object to any more funding for this state-controlled process and humbly request that the oil trustees and administrators decline and reject further financial funds for Kanai Olobalo. They should ask the state of, of Hawaii legislature for more funding. Oha, you gave enough. That's my true feeling. You gave enough, okay? Let these people who want Kanai Olobalo to survive eh, do what we've been doing out there. Get out there, door to door, and you know what? Work, work for what you believe in and not get these free passes, okay? Cut the funding. Aloha. Mahalo. Mahalo. Aloha. Short one, Henry. Really, you have to do this? <laughs> no, yeah. 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 Six, yeah. More, yeah. 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 six more people. Yeah.
Just in case. I'll make it really quick. Because the, the list um, keeps growing. Up. Yeah, sorry. Well, we gotta. I, I think it's it's worthwhile to say that um, I've known Henry for many, 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 many years. He's even my neighbor, and uh, his his wife's family is is well known and, and very prominent in the Democratic Party. However, the, a lot of things that Henry said in the beginning, which was his own little speech, I have a problem with because. So. Oh, 